What is my rabbit gang? Rob Level here, and I'm actually uploading my song right now. And I want to show you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this really quick. I want to show you exactly what you're supposed to do after you upload your song to YouTube to get the most streams, to make the most money, and to promote it the most, to get it heard, and things that you probably never even considered doing, or you did, but you haven't taken that step. I'm gonna tell you how powerful these steps are. There's nine things in this video. I'm gonna get right into them. As you can see, my new song is uploading right now. There's 10 minutes left until it's up. It's a lyric video. I just finished editing this bad boy, and let me just show you how we how we're gonna go about doing this all right now number one let's start with this the number one thing that I tell people to do now because I understand the power of YouTube ads and I really mastered it by spending tens of thousands of dollars on it is I understand how powerful the ads are if you look at my new song it came out five weeks ago and it's already at almost a million views here Damn, and then my I'm other sorry. song here uh, is at 430,000 and it was released two days after this so I have one almost like 1.3 million views if you combine the two now I want to show you and tell you well first of all let's go down here let me tell you how powerful these are. If we go in here, all right, so if I, if I search on this page for ad, so if you search the page for the word ad, you're gonna see a lot of people saying, I got this as an ad, and I listened through the whole thing, decided to click. I found this as a YouTube ad, and I've been vibing ever since. An ad brought me here, I stopped my video and clicked on this. It was not a mistake, this is truly inspiring, Rob. Okay, I saw this as an ad, I finished the ad, he clicked to it, I saw this as an ad, I'm actually glad I've seen this. Ads work if you have good music. He ain't lying. So let's talk about this really quick. I want you to understand the power in running ads because you can get two views for a single penny. I Meaning you can get upwards of 200 views for $1, okay? So what I'm gonna leave you with for this is your video that you upload has to, first and foremost, before you can upload it, has to be made Kill. like you're gonna run it as a YouTube ad so you always can. That means no cussing, not too much nudity, stuff like that. And also making sure that the song starts at a point where the person won't have to listen for more than five seconds before they can click to it because they'll already be bored. So you kinda just need to get into it. Even if you cut out the beginning, that's fine. On Spotify and everywhere else, it'll play the full length, right? So either way, I just wanna let you know that. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. I'll, I'll open the video for you and you'll notice right here exactly what's going on okay all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this for you really quick and you're gonna see I actually cut out the beginning to get right into the song just goes boom right into the song boom they be asking me like Rob how'd you make it high Okay, so I immediately, before, this is like an extra five or six seconds to really get the person into the vibe, but I cut that out because I know that it's gonna really pull the person's attention. So that's number one. Let's keep going through this though. Number two, the thing you need to do right after or right before you actually upload this to YouTube. Now bear in mind, the reason we do this is so you can get the most people to the video, get the most views, and really, you know, there's, there's a reason I got 1.3 million views and I didn't spend nearly as much money as you think I did, <laughs> okay? You just have to know how to run them. I have a YouTube ads masterclass where I show you how to get two views for a penny, 200 views for a dollar, all this stuff all the series that I've learned. Now, I'm gonna put a link to that masterclass right. below this video, but let's keep going because there's a lot of other really, really, really good tricks you need to know. Number two, and often people know to do this, but they don't do it, but it's super important, and that is creating a snippet for your song that you can post on Instagram, post it on Facebook. Reason being is you're able to drive traffic to all the streaming platforms. This is gonna make you the most amount of money that you possibly can. So what I did is I made three different snippets of different parts of the song that may capture somebody's attention. And what's beautiful is because it's a lyric video, lyrics are already on screen. If somebody's scrolling on Facebook, scrolling on Instagram, they don't have the sound on, they can read the lyrics and the visuals pop out, which pulls them in, makes them engage, makes them go to the link. So let me show you this real quick. So I made this, I used the artwork for the song, okay? And I put a banner on the top and just made it look really good. So this is one of the three Instagram snippets that I made that I'm gonna post throughout this week to drive people to the song on other streaming platforms to make money, okay? Made this song for you so you know. So it, it's very simple. Then the other ones do other parts of the song. So Right, hit them with different tones, different energies, different parts of your song. So if somebody doesn't like one part, on. they may like another part, or the second time they hear it, they may go, damn, that's different. That, that, that song is getting better every time I hear it. And that's another really great tip for when you're making those snippets. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go to number three. Number three is understanding what above the fold means. Above the fold is you only have three lines inside of a YouTube video description that you're able to use in order to get somebody to see it without them having to click the button to see the rest. And the most valuable thing is because the two highest streaming platforms that you're gonna make the money from is gonna be Spotify and Apple Music. You wanna make sure that the two primary things that get seen are a direct to Spotify link and a direct 
to Apple Music. Link. This way it goes straight to the money. There's about a 20% drop off if you send people to a link such as this. Let me give you an example. We send people to this link where I give them options. There's about a 20% drop off or what's called a bounce rate, meaning that people will come to this page and go, ah, 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 too many choices, and then they'll leave. So you lose 20% of your money or your potential fans or anybody that goes to that. So you want to make sure that they can see Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, right? And then if they were to click here, it would give them all three options, but I can also put title and everything else in there. But oh it's very powerful, trust me, just based on data to put direct two links. Okay. Now, if you're asking how to get those direct two links, we're going to go to number four, which is utilizing a service like Linkfire. Now, for putting those links in there, you're seeing that I'm using something right here. It's Linkfire, and it's because it gives me the most data. It's freaking amazing. Let's go here. Oh, yeah. My SoundCloud's, my SoundCloud's popping. Like just in a month, 77 on that, 95 on that, 181,000. Well, that one's, that one's been up. But here's, here's Linkfire, okay? Let me show you now. I haven't even really been utilizing this as much as I should have, but there's so much data. Like I just plugged this in. I haven't even used this yet, barely using this, but it's amazing because you can get so much data. If I were to go to this, click the insights, I can see where people came from, everything like that, which you may not believe or understand why this is important. But like I just said, with knowing the bounce rate is 20%, I went and looked and I said, why is it that? And it's because I wasn't leaving straight to the platform. Now, what happened? It saves me 20% of money. That 20% of money can go into gaining me more fans. Fans, which means that every dollar you spend instead of it being worth 80 cents it's now actually worth a dollar and that's the type of stuff that you learn when you go through data so that's the thing is that you use link fire links it's going to give you that data and also i have a deal with link fire and it's by the way it's used by major labels i actually found it on the post malone rockstar video and i, I was like what is this started using it a couple months later they actually reached out to me so i actually so that so i made a special deal just for smart rapper smartrapper.com slash link fire is a deal that you guys will get for using link fire and i use it you can clearly see that and the reason i mentioned this is because you want to put this above the fold. You're going to collect the data. In addition to that, it also allows you to retarget them because you can put pixels into these. So if people were to click that, you can save them with a Facebook pixel. You can target them with other pixels. And later, let's say you get a thousand people click that link. You can put them on the list, retarget, and put your new song to those people all because they clicked your link. That's the power in this is you can retarget. You don't really lose a fan, right? Because just because they clicked doesn't mean they went and followed you, but you have their data now. You can target them. Plus, it gives you other data like where they live, the device they were using, all kinds of stuff. I mean, so you can really help base yourself on retargeting in geographical locations, knowing where to tour, all kinds of stuff. Number five that's massively valuable that you need to understand is the actual thumbnail. And if you look here, what I did is I made six different thumbnail choices for myself from the lyric video to decide which one is gonna be the best and be the most capable for getting clicked when people search it or when I run it as a YouTube discovery ad, which is where when the video pops up like top right or on the right sidebar, I wanna make sure it's gonna get clicked the most. So I need to choose the one that's the best. So what I did is I posted these on Instagram. I said, which one should be the one that I choose to be the actual thumbnail? And then everybody votes. That increases engagement. It makes your fans feel like they're part of the decision process with your music and they wanna be part of that, right? Yeah. And it's beautiful. People also know now what? They know that you're releasing a song. In addition to that, they're more invested in the song and will wanna go listen to it because they've helped you make a decision with the song. It's all psychological. This is part of marketing. So you want to include your fans. And this took me less than two minutes to do. I just scrubbed through the video that I edited inside of Premiere. And I just decided, I said, which ones are the most visually appealing? Which ones would really stand out? And we decided actually this one because it really sparks the most curiosity without looking too generic. Like this looks generic. This is not enough. This is too much of a lyric video. This is too much of a lyric video. This is really cool, but when it's really shrunk down, you might not be able to see it's an hourglass. So we went with this one. And people voted for this one as well. So it was like between one, two, and six, right? So, or six, this was this one, this one was the six. So now I'm able to choose. So now the fans are involved in this. Now I can take this thumbnail and I can go in here and I can plug this thumbnail in and I won't have to use a generic thumbnail that just pops up, which doesn't even look good if YouTube chooses it for you. Now, number six, this is powerful. And a lot of people don't use this, but you have to use this on YouTube. Super easy to do is you have to utilize the top comment when you post the video. After you post the video, and you'll see here what I did in a screwed up true story, is you go in here and you want to make sure that you save the top comment. Look, I got 402 likes on this, 31 replies, and you say something about the song. So it gives it a story behind the song to make people want to engage. It increases your comments, it increases you in the algorithm on YouTube, it increases a whole lot of things that you really want. And it gets conversation going, which increases more comments. And then you can also put more of your links, like, hey, if you want to listen to this, go save it here, go do this, ask them for a favor. 
favor afterwards. You have to do the top comment. It's as easy as posting the comment, clicking this, and then clicking pin, and it'll go right to the top. Realistically, actually, I pinned this one, but because this was my main comment, it also went right to the top with all those likes. So that is massive. Don't forget to do a top comment because you're missing out if you don't. Because when people are on mobile, they don't always click to see the description, but they often look at the comments. And if it's a top comment, you can get you can get clicks to your Spotify, you can get clicks to your Apple Music, SoundCloud, and all that, and make more money. Number seven is finalizing the description. And the reason why this is massively important is this. Okay, we already have all this top stuff, but what about everything else? This is the rest of the stuff that's gonna make you money from your song, as well as give you your credibility and everything. So let me give you an example. When it comes to this song specifically, the song credits, I wanna let people know who wrote this song, who recorded this song, who mixed this song, who was the producer. I was a producer on this beat. So I wanna let people know, oh, he's involved in the producing process as well. Oh, that's impressive. You made the like song, he way. wrote it and he recorded it himself. So I'm the assistant engineer on all my songs. I'm involved in the whole process. So, oh, your assistant engineered the song. All this stuff tells people, hey, like I did this. Who did the, who did the song? Sutton was a primary editor and I spent about three, three and a half hours, no, four hours. So I was part of the editing process of this video. Then people go, oh, he helped edit this video too. This guy does everything. So I gain respect by having and adding more things into the description that a lot of people skip, but it needs to be in there, right? And also what to do, it shows my Instagram how many times, okay? That's another thing. Then there's also a way for me to make money because I show all of the gear that I use in my home studio. And if they click a link, this are, these are affiliate links. I can make money, okay? Now I gotta put the genius link in here too so people can see that. In addition to that, you're gonna wanna put your email list so people can sign up to your email list. You're gonna wanna be able to sell something in here. You got wristbands, you got t-shirts. Don't leave it out of this. Here's the problem. If you go in here and you don't put these links in initially, if you change anything about the description, the title, the thumbnail, it resets the video in the YouTube algorithm. And that really, really hurts you when it comes to people searching your name and this coming up first after you put all this work into the video. Okay, so you wanna make sure this is done before you promote it. So don't touch this description, the title, the thumbnail. It will reset the video. Next thing to do, number eight, is to add it to your link tree. So what I do here is I take the song and it's added as the actual lyric video right here in the link tree. So when people click my link tree on my Instagram, they're going to see this. And I made it the autoplay video. So when you go to it, it actually auto plays the lyric video pops up, right? So let me take this. I'm going to take this link real quick. I need to replace it because I had to fix something in the video. I didn't like too much of a perfectionist. So I just replace it right there. Now it saves it automatically. Now people can go through. And if you look here, look, it's right there, but it'll also auto play the video at the top. So that's number eight. Now it's inside of my link tree. Anytime anybody goes to my link tree. So what happens is when I post my snippet on Instagram, it says, go to my link in my bio. Let me show you real quick. Damn. So we go here to the end here. Look what I look what I did here on the end of this. It says out now, shows all the places it's out and link is in my bio. So on Instagram, they go to my bio, they click it, they see this and then they can watch the video go to it. So that's why you need the snippet, you need the link tree it's, and this is gonna lead to other streaming platforms and make you money. Okay, now number nine is this. Remember I told you number one, you need to make sure the song is prepared to run for YouTube ads so you can really get that traction. But here's the thing, is now you need to actually run YouTube ads. And if you don't know how to run YouTube ads, I have a YouTube ads masterclass. Right. It's gonna be below this video in the description. And you're gonna be able to go check that out. It's brand new, I just finished it. You can learn every single possible trick that I know to make the most out of every single solitary penny you spend to get everybody to your music. And again, imagine spending $10 and getting upwards of 2,000 views a day. Right, now that's not the typical result, I can do that, but that's also because I've mastered how to make my content for that exact purpose. But for you, guaranteed, you can get one view for a penny. What? Guaranteed, because you can set it up like that to do that, where I'm only, I'll only give you one penny for a view. You tell YouTube that. It's really easy. I'll show you how to do that. But you need to know all the other tricks too in order to really maximize it. You need to know who to target, the time scheduling, all these other things that I have mastered. So think about this, you set it up to spend $5 a day throughout a whole month, $150 on your music marketing. After you set it up, it's running on its own, by the way. And it's $5 a day, so you can get anywhere from 500 to a thousand views a day, you walk away, you could come back with 20, 30,000 views on your music, real people, real fans, real engagement for $150. There's no better way to gain fans right now. And that's why I'm solely focusing. I have not done any other marketing for these songs and I have 1.3 million views on these two songs. I've done no other marketing but YouTube ads. Almost 300,000 of these views are for my fans and everybody else coming in who's becoming fans. And if you look at my channel dashboard, I've gained 6,000 new subscribers in the last 28 days. That's because of running YouTube ads for the last 30 days. And the ad spend was not that crazy. It really wasn't. So you can be doing this. And I'm telling you guys, look at this 430,000 here. You just need to let me show you how to do it. So go in the description and I'll show you how to set up your YouTube ads. So there's the things. Those are the nine things you need to know, right? So I'll go back over them with you really quick. And actually, let's put them on the screen here for you. Boom, boom, right? So keep in mind that you'll be running YouTube ads. Make a snippet for Instagram and Facebook. Think about it, your links being above the fold. So think about using Linkfire for those links to put above the fold, which you see that I use. And you can get a deal on that, smartrapper.com slash Linkfire, okay? 
Next is the thumbnails. Utilize your thumbnails to get your audience involved and see which one they like the most. Next, number six, utilize the top comment to drive traffic. Number seven, finalize the description to make money, show your credentials, show your hustle. Number eight, add it to your link tree for Instagram. And then number nine is run YouTube ads. And if you don't know number nine, you need to learn number nine. It's not that hard. Also, I'll give you guys $150 in Google ads credit that you can use. Obviously, Google ads, same thing as YouTube. I give you that when you get my masterclass. So you get $150 to immediately spend on your music as soon as you get my YouTube Ads Masterclass. So click the link below this video. All right. Go check out my brand new YouTube Ads Masterclass. You're going to love it, okay? Well, I hope these things helped you guys out because so I do it. As I do it, I show you how to do exactly what I'm doing, right? I'm not just somebody saying you should do this. I'm doing it and I'm watching it work. I'm the only person on YouTube who's actually an artist testing and utilizing these things to better myself. As I learn, I teach you. That's why we're number one in the music education space. Okay, so check out my YouTube ads course below. I hope this really helped you guys out. I know I get a little long-winded sometimes, but there's just so much information to give you. Also, I'll put a link below if you wanna know the 12 levels of the music industry. I'll put a yeah, link below this yeah, video yeah. for that. That's a free download. I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper. Level. You just got a little bit smarter. Keep hustling, gang, and I'll see you at the top. Go. Check those links out. I'm a go, I'm a go. Uh.